And it's been quite the season for Front Row Motorsports. Both uh, Todd Gilliland as well as Michael McDowell have flexed their racing muscle. Gilliland also finished seventh here last season at Talladega when we raced last time. He spent some time with Josh Sims on the shift. You've been working over a year now with Michael McDowell as a teammate. How has that relationship changed over the, the last year or so you've been working together? I feel like he's taken me under his wing like from legit day one until now. He has not stopped helping me in any way I, you know, possible. And that's one thing I'm very thankful for is a teammate, he could go either way, right? He could not want to help me, um, just try and let me figure it out on my own or what he's doing is just completely helping me 100%, I feel like. So I think it's been a big step of helping our two teams work together closer. Uh, the 34 and 38, when, you know, beginning of last year, it was, it kind of blew my mind how much they worked separately. Todd Gilliland made a huge pickup. Here's his teammate, Michael McDowell, looking for his first Martinsville top 10 finish. And I also think Michael's leadership of just this whole team is, is something I look up to a lot. Overall, he's, he's been nothing but 100% helpful to me. Do you ever get those moments where you still stop and think like, I'm in the cup series racing against guys that I grew up watching and you might be in awe of them but also you got to compete against them that's one thing that at the beginning of last year like I was very in awe of everything like my first laps at Daytona in the cup car everything I was just like amazed by so um, I'm really happy that that's actually <laughs> behind me maybe not so much this year I think at Martinsville is a, a cool moment we went three wide passed for second I was running second for you know 10 15 laps Todd Gilliland in the top 10 here. That's a really good car. It's just milestones that, you know, progress, that we can see we're getting better and competing with the best of the best. So it is really cool to, to hopefully one day be the guy that the kids are racing against that they watched uh, racing growing up. When all is said and done at the end of this season, what will success look like for you and your team? <laughs> I think at the beginning of the year, we'd have been really happy with, you know, our last month of racing we've had. But taking this seat today, I feel like our expectations are, are honestly much higher than we started the season. I think we've shown a little bit of what we can do. I, mean, I really don't think that's the end of it. I think we're just honestly getting the ball rolling. I see no reason we can't compete, you know, top 15 and, and eventually start getting top 10s. We got our first stage points this weekend at Martinsville since Daytona. That's tough to do. So I think we can start competing, like I said, top 15, top 10, week in and week out. No one knows the inner workings of that team uh, better than you do, David, obviously spending some time over there. What, what, what do you think about what they're doing right now? You must feel like kind of like a proud big brother in a way, right? Yeah, I mean, it's been fun to watch the evolution of Front Row Motorsports. And, and I was teammates with Todd's dad 10 years right ago now. at Front Row Motorsports. <laughs> and so it's hard for me to, to see Todd. And, and he really grew up uh, in, in front of our eyes. And, and, and we often forget he's only 22 My years goodness. old. So he's still young, but, but he's had some really good experience the last couple of years. And he talked a lot about his being a teammate with Michael McDowell. And, and Michael is, uh, he's a veteran. He's been around for a long time, but I think he's really gave Todd a lot of things to think about, encouraged him. Uh, we all know Todd has a lot of talent, but it is extremely hard to be thrown into the Cup Series and expect to, to learn, to not make mistakes, to be fast, and to be the leader of your team. And he's had to do all of those things in the last uh, year and a half. So it's good to see him have some good runs and some speed in those forwards here lately. Well, one thing we need to clear up. You saw in a lot of those shots there in the 38 car. He's not in the 38 car right. this week. He's yes. in the 36 car. Front row made the decision to put Zane Smith in that 38 for a handful of races. In fact, Todd told Mike and Clint just a few minutes ago in the booth when this happened, he didn't even know if he was going to be able to run the full schedule, but they have worked and he's been able to drive that 36 car some races when Zane's in the 38. But even through all that, he's kept such a good positive attitude. Yeah, and you winning with that team, it's got to feel like a, I mean, it's the little guys competing against the big guys, right? So there's got to be a, an extra sense of pride. Oh, absolutely. And they've always worked hard at these speedways and, and we've had some speed and Michael McDowell winning the Daytona 500 a few years ago, but just like Todd at Martinsville, he was a top 10 yeah. car most of that race, and so it's fun to see that evolution, along with this next-gen car is allowed there some There you go, teams right there. Like Look at that. How yeah, about that, that, baby? That was uh, a lot of fun. That was their first win, Front Row Motorsports uh, first win, and uh, and David Gillen was second. We had a 1-2 finish that And night. it almost was dark. It was pretty <laughs> close to dark. I, I'm glad that they finished uh, uh, under, under green. That Very was a cool. fun day. Very cool. Hey, race fans, thanks for watching our video. Video. For all NASCAR on Fox News content and the best clips from Fox Sports, be sure to follow and subscribe to our channel.